because I was jealous of how beautiful he was, and mm -hmm. I'm convinced I'm I'm loving this guy. He was so nice. We sat at chat for five minutes about oh. the new movie. Here it is. Rob, finally, finally. a bit of sex in this film. It's fantastic. Yeah. As a grown man watching it, I was like, you know, yeah, sort of going for you, you know. And then we discussed it, and there was three of us in this movie. We discussed it on the way home. Well, I felt like a teenager all over again. Was every time you played chess, was then you having, was that whoever wins? Gets to have the sex. Yeah, it's a very strange part of the movie. That, that, <laughs> I mean, it. It's this year, um, like when uh, yeah, Edward going around trying to avoid it, avoid it. After, he has oh, sex why once. Avoid it? He has sex once and then just tries, spends the rest of his honeymoon trying to terrified of doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> it was flashbacks of a teenage boy. I'll tell you what, watching that again, I liked it. Uh, and the graphic, and you know, everyone that's seen the book knows that there's going to be a baby. Um, slash demon baby, whatever this baby is. Um, graphic scenes uh, during that. Was it as horrific filming it, or is it, you know, really it's just work and it's, there's no no real fear there? No, I think it's probably more horrific filming it, to be honest, because they could, they've... I think it would be impossible to show the full extent of what the set looked like. I mean, without it being R-rated. I, mean, I, I remember walk, going onto the set the first day, and... Um, they had this prosthetic dummy of Kristen and it was so emaciated with this huge, like, mutated baby bump and her rib cage was sticking out and, and she was just lying there looking like dead and like a, a yeah. zombie. And, uh, and just covered in blood and she's wearing these rags. And I'm like, Jesus, how are we supposed to... Like, how is this ever going to be in the movie? And we're doing that, the, one of the, those shots... Uh, Whatever it's called, the adrenaline oh, shot into yeah, the, the heart. Yeah, yeah, and it's always, like, always icky feeling. Oh like. man, it was horrible. And I did that with there was a, a breastplate on Kristen. It was actually her head. <laughs> I was really? Like, I really don't understand. Because <laughs> <laughs> she looked in some of those scenes there. There's a part there where she does look beyond death, and I thought, uh, surely yeah. she hasn't lost that much weight, or how did they do that? But it was a, it was a dummy. Yeah, bits of it were a dummy, and uh, and she had kind of prosthetic things, um, like her cheekbones and stuff are extended. So even even in the flesh, I mean, she looked like she was green. And it, yeah. It was like, it was terrible. It was a horrible, horrible sight. I even heard that, you know, uh, they wanted to make this not an R-rated film. Mm. It probably should have been. Um, but you, but you shot it, and then when they were editing it, they were like, oh, that's too full on that sex, cut that out. What did we miss? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'd be curious to know. I mean, the, the ratings board is very strange. They kind of, they, you're judged on such specific criteria. It's not like a general thing. Mm -hmm. They'll be like, oh, that noise. You can't have more than six noises during a sex scene. <laughs> so, <laughs> ridiculous. It's really strange. I did another movie where they said the, the sex was too emotional, so you had to make it less emotional. <laughs> I would have thought more emotional. They would have liked that, like less physical, more emotional. That's so weird. Um, there are some beautiful bits in uh, in this movie. Um, a bit of a shot in Brazil, like the honeymoon that you guys had. Yeah. Um, gorgeous um, moon shots. The islands looks fantastic. Did you enjoy filming there? Uh, yeah, it was incredible. I mean, especially after doing the rest of the series in a freezing cold forest, pretty much, okay. and and a warehouse, like, and then suddenly ending up in the most beautiful house I've ever seen in, in Brazil and yeah. going to work on a boat every single day. It was incredible. The love triangle is not gone anywhere um, in this movie. Mm -hmm. um, I was thinking myself, because I'm married, so separated, we won't get into that. But um, <laughs> you're married, finally, and the other creep just keeps chiming in. Um, hard to watch as a guy. You, think, you just want to... You just think, get the point, clown, it's finished. The, the, the one of the, that was the one time I've ever been really irritated with Edward's character. I remember reading the book and at one point having to just put it down and be like, listen, I, I don't know what the idea is behind making Edward like this, but this is definitely not the way the supposed perfect man No, <laughs> you don't want that. Get out, take it's, the hint. Yeah, and also it's kind of, it's like at a certain point you would expect your wife to say like, the, you know, even if she doesn't necessarily say it, but you kind of, she kind of wants you to punch him. Yeah, <laughs> oh God, don't so. dance in the forest. We're like, oh, anyway, I'm getting all emotional about it. I was, I'm trying to <laughs> I get all the feelings. I, 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 I get so incredibly emotional about it. When I, I was like, I was talking to Bill Condon when 
It's like, if he came to my wedding, especially when I introduced him, I, I mean, the, the, I changed some of the lines, because it's like, I've got, a, I've got the most special gift of all in the forest. I'm like, what am I talking about? Like, I mean, this doesn't make any sense. And uh, and just allowing, yeah, allowing Bella to just dance with Jacob, and it looks like the most emotional thing in the world. And I was initially watching it, and I'm like, I'm not going to sit there and watch them dance with each other. <laughs> like, so I kept, there were bits which were cut out of the movie where I'm like, uh, I, I walk off and uh, say I'm going to go and dance with, um, there's another girl, another vampire who's my ex-girlfriend, yeah. who's, who's there who flirts with me, and I, and I go and say to Bella, like, I'm going to go dance with her. <laughs> That's <laughs> more realistic. Yeah, if you want to dance with Jacob, like, well, look, I, I, I loved it, though, man. As a 40-year-old man, and this is the first time I've watched on a big screen, yeah. totally loved it. Everyone else is going to eat it up. Cool. Thanks for taking the time. Thanks Appreciate a lot. it, man. Well, well done. Thank Congratulations.